to all who are watching this video. Listen, I am standing before you and I'm standing at the gate of Global Impact Christian Ministries here in Stockbridge, Georgia. Uh, the reason I'm here is because it's pricked in my heart uh, to speak to those who have still chosen not to come back home. Um, they've decided to stay home in their house, but not come to the house of the Lord. So my question to you today is, in any day in the future, is did you go to work? Did you get up and go to work? <laughs> did you get up and go to school? Answer that question. Did you get up and go to the grocery store? Did you get up and go to get some gas in your car? Did you get up to go and get a new outfit? Did you get up to go to out to eat at a restaurant? Did you get up to just go anywhere except the house of the Lord? And the reason you don't come to the house of the Lord is you say you might catch COVID. But yet the answer to all the other questions I've asked previously, you are gonna say yes, at least a majority of them. So if you can still do those things, why aren't we coming to the house of the Lord? Why aren't we coming to the house of the Lord? My people, it is time to come back. It is time to come back. Satan has held us down almost two years now, giving us that comfort now that we're content just chilling at the house when it comes to worship. But when it comes to everything else, we're going, we're going. Something is wrong with that, y'all. Look at, look at that. Something is wrong with that. It doesn't make sense. It really does not make sense. So I come to you making a request today. The word tells us, God tells us, he said, if my people who are called by my name should humble themselves and pray, seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, forgive their sins, and heal their land. God wants us to come back. He wants us to seek his face. He wants us to not make excuses for not coming to worship him with the uh, other people of God. Yes, we can sit at home and watch Facebook and YouTube and, and sit there and pat our feet. I've been there. I know how comfortable it is to just get up and just worship in your PJs. I've been there. Yes, but then I felt a spirit coming on me of contentment. This is good enough. I'll just stay at home. And then, you know what? I had to rebuke that spirit because I knew that that was nobody but the enemy trying to tell me to, that I don't have to come. You know, God tells us, you know, to not forsake the assembly of um, oneself, not to forsake coming together to worship him. So yes, you can worship him at home by yourself or with your kids and your husband, but there's nothing more powerful and more awesome than coming together as people and children of God. So again, it's time to come back. Come back. Come back to the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. That's all I got for you today. I pray that you will hear and answer the appeal that I'm making to you today. Come back. God wants us to come back and worship him as family. Amen. Love you all. Have a great, awesome rest of the day and be encouraged and share this video with someone else who has found the excuse and got the t contentment to just chill out at home. But you don't stop anything else, but you stop coming to worship with the body of believers. Come back. Come back. Come back. And if you don't go to Global, go back to your church. Okay. But if you do go to Global, come on back. We miss you. Love you. Have a great and awesome day. Bye for now.